Hello everyone. Today's video is a compilation of 12 manufacturers and 20 guns that are really ambidextrous for our friends, the lefties. If they only have a magazine release installed on the right side from the factory or available magazine release on the right side and or a safety on the slide or on a frame, this is not considered as ambidextrous. The most important feature I find out for lefties is the slide catch slide release as we enjoy as a righty on our left side. If this is not available on the right side, this is not a full ambidextrous. I know, I know, I know, you can definitely load a gun and move back the slide to load a fresh round. But not everybody likes to do that, like myself. I like to use the slide release. And I think our friendly lefties should also be able to do that. So that compilation of the handguns is only with slide catch and slide release on the right side. If they don't have it, they will not be part of that list. Some guns I find out that will not be part of that list are still frame handgun. There might be a couple on the market, but I haven't found any. Most of the steel frames do not have a slide catch or slide release. And that includes the CC75 and clones and copies like the EAA Witness, the IWI Jericho, the Canic. They do not offer an ambidextrous handgun. Same thing for the 1911 copies. They do not offer and ambidextrous handgun, as well as high power and copies, as well as Beretta 92s, none of those handguns offer a slide catch, slide release. It looks like with the coming of the polymer frame, we are seeing a lot more fully ambidextrous handguns. So here is that uh, list compilation, and the first of our list is Beretta, but even so, a lot of those manufacturers are foreign. Their guns are very often made in the USA. The first one in the list will be Beretta, our Italian friend, with the APX. APX is a tracker fire handgun with a different polymer lower. This start around $525. Barrel length is about 4.3 inches and they can carry 17 rounds. Beretta also offer a PX4. It is also, of course, a polymer handgun with the capacity of 15 to 17 round, starting at $500 and is hammer fired with a barrel of 3.2 to 4 inches. Next in that alphabetical order list is Bersa with a $350 handgun, which is the TPR9. It is also a hammer fire handgun with 17 round available and a 4.3 inch barrel. It is uh, made in Slovakia and for what I've heard a very good handgun. Next is from Turkey, Kenik has the only handgun in their list as a TP9 SF Elite. Fully ambidextrous starting at $380. It is a striker fire with 15 round magazine and a 4.2 inch barrel. From the Czech Republic is CZ with their new or newest P10 series, all made now in the US, starting at 400 bucks. They are striker fired, 15 round magazine. They do have a 4 inch barrel and up for competition with their F model. You can get different color, lower frame like 10, black, and barrel with thread barrel. Coming next in our list is from Belgium, FN with their 509 series, $550 to start at 4 inch barrel, striker fired and 17 round available for that handgun. Most of the FNs are also made in the US.
FN also offered another fully ambidextrous handgun, which is the FNS, starting at $450, striker fired as well, 17 round, and barrels from 3.6 to 4 inches. That means they have a carry handgun and a full size handgun as well. If you prefer a hammer fire handgun, the FNX is also fully ambidextrous. 17 round, start at $580, 4 inches to 5.3 inches polymer frame. Glock now, the well received Gen 5, and for the first time a Glock which is fully ambidextrous. Starting at $580. 15 rounds and up for the magazine and 4 inches and up for the barrel. Next from Slovakia is Grand Powered. They offer two models, the K100 at $450 and up. It is hammer fired 15 round magazine and barrels are 4.3 inches. You can find the grand power for $800, 15 round magazine and 5 inch barrel. Back in Germany with HK you have two models. The first one hammer fired the P30. Both of those models by the way have a paddle magazine release instead of a push button on the side. The P30 start at $550, 4 inches to 4.7 inches barrel, and that will be with a threaded barrel for the 4.7 inches. As I say, it is a hammer fire handgun. And then the other handgun is the VP9. This one is tracker fired. Also a paddle magazine release. Also starting at about $550. Also 4 inch to 4.7 inch barrel. And again, the 4.7 inch will be with threaded barrel. Both of those handguns take 15 round magazine. From Ruger, we have one model, which is fully ambidextrous. It is the American pistol, starting at $440. It is striker fired, lower polymer, like most of those handguns, with a 17 round magazine, servicing a 3.5 to 4 inch barrel. Let's take another trip to Germany with Six Sauer. Their P320 chassis handgun starts at $500. It is a striker fired. You can replace the lower frame with different colors and different size. They are sold separately. They come from 3.6 to 4.7 inch barrel and 17 round magazine available. Back to the US with the Smith & Wesson MNP line. All of them are ambidextrous and they go from 3.5 to 5 inch barrel starting at $420. All striker fired and 17 round available. There is a lot of aftermarket for that handgun and a few forums to help you out if you do have any issues with that handgun.
Let's take a small detour to Brazil with tourists. They have two models, one which has been discontinued, the 809, it is a hammer fired polymer frame, starting at $300, if you can still find them, 4 inch barrel and 17 round magazine. Those handguns have been replaced by the TH9, very similar, it is also priced at, at $300. Hammer fired, 17 rounds, barrel length will vary from 3.5 to 4.3 inches. And the last one in that list of 12 manufacturers and 20 handguns is the Warther PPQ-40 ambidextrous from Germany, entry level is $500, striker fire from 15 to 17 rounds, magazine and 4.6 inches and up for competition. I do have a list below that I will upgrade now and then. So if you think I forgot to hang on or a new handgun comes out and I miss it, please send me a comment with a link to where I can verify your information and I will add it to that list. So you can always come back to it without having to watch that video and you will see that updated list. Well, until next time, see you guys.